The York Potash Project is a proposal to build a new state-of-the-art potash mine in North Yorkshire. It is the flagship development of Sirius Minerals, a company focused on becoming one of the world's most important producers of multi-nutrient fertilizer. The project will extract high-quality polyhalite to supply a global market, creating thousands of jobs and a significant boost to the national economy. The project has the largest and highest grade polyhalite deposit found anywhere in the world. Polyhalite is a unique form of potash that provides potassium, sulphur, magnesium and calcium, four of the six key nutrients that plants need to grow. Increasing crop yields is vital in ensuring global food security, as a growing world population demands more food from less land. Poly4 is the trademark name for York Potash Polyhalite. It can play a crucial role in increasing balanced fertilisation across the globe. The project can deliver exceptional economic benefits for the country and the local area. It can create thousands of jobs during construction and production. The project can make an annual contribution of £1 billion to GDP, with exports to the value of £1.2 billion per year. Annual tax receipts would be boosted by over £230 million and further local payments would create more jobs and fund wide-ranging community projects. The mine will be located south of Whitby in North Yorkshire. The company has made a number of major development decisions to ensure the mine is sensitive to its setting in the North York Moors National Park. Innovative design measures will reduce the visual and environmental impact, leading this to be one of the most mitigated mining projects in the world. Temporary head frames will be required during construction and will be removed when the mine is operational. Permanent shaft head frames and other infrastructure will be located below the surface. Existing trees and woodland will be supplemented by additional screening to further conceal the mine buildings in the local landscape. In the longer term, new planting will help to create richer and more diverse wildlife habitats. A short tunnel will lead to the mine shafts which will directly access the polyhalite seam around 1,500 metres below surface. Continuous miners will cut the mineral from the rock face onto flexible conveyor trains leading back to the production shaft. The mined ore is then sized, loaded into skips and hoisted to a depth of 360 metres below surface, where it will meet the mineral transport system. The mined ore will be transported on an underground conveyor system to Teesside. Along the route there will be three non-intrusive shaft locations for emergency access and ventilation. At Teesside, the polyhalite will be crushed and granulated at the materials handling facility. The site will contain the plant and equipment needed to produce 30 million tonnes of polyhalite a year. The finished product will be transported to the harbour facility on a covered conveyor system for export. A new berth will provide a high capacity shipping facility that is ideally located to provide access to customers in key markets across the globe. Significant sales commitments have already been signed in the UK, Europe, China, North America, Central America, Asia and Africa, with many more to follow. Serious Minerals. The future of fertilizer.